guys and welcome. So in this video, as promised, we're going to do a bit of a review and also a little bit of setup advice on air compressors. Now, I was lucky enough that the guys at gtair.co.uk watched one of my videos and saw that my compressor and my setup wasn't quite good enough. So kindly they emailed and offered to send out one of their models for us to use in the shop. Now, I have to say it's a great model and we're going to be having a little bit of a look at it and a little bit of a look at my setup um, throughout this video. So you guys that keep asking about compressors and setups and basically what I use and how I use it and how I'm set up can see what I've got in the shop and what I spray with. So this is my compressor and my little setup. Now the compressor itself, retail price on this is £380 direct from gtair.co.uk. And if you click their little logo up in the corner, it'll take you straight to their website. And also we'll be having a little bit of a look at their website later on. So it's a 150 litre, three horsepower, belt driven, 14.1 CFM compressor. Now that's the most important thing really, that it's 14.1 CFM. Um, basically, your spray guns and stuff, they probably run about 8 9 CFM. But if you get a compressor that runs 8 or 9 CFM, they won't keep up and recharge with your compressor and you won't be able to keep the pressure in your lines. But we'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. But first, let's have a look at the compressor itself. So you've got the motor on the right, you've got the actual pump itself in the middle, and then you've got the gauge set up here. Now, this particular gauge I've got set to roughly about 9 bar. That then runs through the high flow fittings, upper short link pipe to my regulator, which now I've got everything set up, I've set that to 75 psi. Now that gives me perfect pressure that I get no pressure drop down my line, which is the yellow one next to it. Now I've got another line in the booth and eventually I'm going to set this up a little bit better. But this is just a little bit of a look at my basic setup for you guys and how I'm running mine at the moment. So with those set up like that, all I do is link that yellow flexible one to the one that I've got in the spray booth. Now, ideally I could do with having the regulator further down the line to give a bit more time for the water to actually cool down and condensate and turn into droplets so the filter can catch it. But unfortunately, until I've finished up setting the shop up properly, I haven't got time to do that. Now, you might have seen in the escort video that I was struggling a bit with the pressure drop on the spray gun. Now, this is the most important thing. The actual regulator on the compressor itself is set to nine bar. Now, that will drop and that feeds up nine bar up to the water regulator. Now you can see here, I've got 30 PSI set on my spray gun. Now the best way of setting your gun up is to depress the trigger so the air is coming out, set your gun to what you spray at, and then hopefully, as you'll see here, that even though as the compressor drops, the actual regulator on the gun, the pressure will not drop, which means whilst you're spraying, you're gonna have a constant air pressure. Now that comes about by setting you compressor up to a certain amount of pressure, in this case 9 bar on that gauge, and then having your regulator set to around about 75 psi should give you a constant run of air down your lines so you won't get the pressure fluctuation. Another big thing that people don't really talk about is also the compressed air fittings. On the right we've got standard fitting and on the left we've got high flow fitting. Now you can see the difference in the size of the holes through the middle of those fittings. This one on the right has got a very fine hole, the high flow on the left has got a very large hole, which means you're gonna get a real good flow through your airlines, which means that the airflow and the amount of CFM, which is cubic feet a minute, that comes through is gonna be greater, and you're gonna get a more unrestricted flow. And all my fittings on the compressor, spray gun, sanders, everything are all fitted with a high flow fitting for that reason. It means that I'm going to get a constant, real, unrestricted flow of air down my lines. Now, the lines themselves, I've been asked about these in the past. Um, Mark Emmett recently asked me what was the best to get. Now, on mine at the moment, I'm running 8mm internal diameter lines, and I will be upgrading them to 10mm internal diameter lines soon. 
to give me a greater flow but at eight mil i have no problem whatsoever but as i say just for safety's sake in the future i'm going to run 10 mil so the next thing we're going to take a look at is the water trap and the regulator and also your line set up and why you should have it set up in a certain way so gta.co.uk have put together this little clean air kit which is 44.99 it compromises of two 10 meter air hoses a filter regulator couplings and also a little water trap for your spray gun now setting your air lines and your regulators and everything up properly not only gives you a good pressure down your lines but also gives you clean and dry air which is essential when you're spraying and it doesn't really matter whether you're doing a small job or a large job now this is basically a diagram of the clean air kit so on the far left you've got your air compressor now the first part is to have your regulator on the compressor set nice so you're getting a good flow towards your regulator and ideally you want about a 10 meter airline which allows the moisture in the air to cool down and condense so that by the time it gets to the second part which is the actual filter and oil regulator that all any of that water and oil is cooled down and will get caught in that regulator to basically prevent it moving on to what is step three which is you in the booth with this spray gun in your hand now there are a number of small water traps you can get for the bottom of your spray gun this kit comes with one and um, you can get them in different shapes and sizes but this for 44.99 this is a comprehensive kit and will get your compressor up and running all the way to your spray gun or your sander or whatever air tool it is that you're actually putting on the end of it and will ensure that you've got good clean air to spray and work with so what we're going to do here guys is just take a little bit at the gtair.co.uk website just so you can see the compressor and also I can give you a bit more detailed information on the compressor so if you pop on there pop on the compressor category and you can see there they've got a few nice compressors on here and as you can see 380 pounds you can't go wrong with an industrial 3 horsepower 150 litre compressor that puts out 14.1 CFM and as I said before having a high CFM around about the 14.1 CFM mark for this money is rare and also is pretty essential now big things to note here in the description is that it has a big powerful 3 horsepower motor it puts out 14.1 CFM of air delivery and also is a good belt drive not a cheap direct drive it will also run from your standard 230 volt house power socket if need be there's details about the electric fittings in the manual that comes with the compressor and also they have a full range of spares which in the past I have really struggled with with compressors so if you go to their spares section find your compressor in the list so for us it's the 150T belt drive compressor and if we scroll down now you can see you can get absolutely everything from the pressure switches to the pumps the motors um, the fittings the valves the manifolds spare belts air filters oil which is essential to keeping your compressor maintained and also the start and run capacitors now I have had big trouble with compressors in the past getting hold of those so that's a little look at the compressor guys and a standard simple setup and a basic setup so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it's always hard to put all the information into these videos so if there's any more questions or queries please don't hesitate to comment and I will get back to you as soon as I can so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon